I'm just busking. I'm busking. Nobody's given me any money yet. Do you know what busking is? Well, I'll teach you what busking is. Let me just put, it, put away my triangle here. This is called a triangle, okay? This kind of instrument is a triangle. What do you think? Am I a good triangle player? Yeah, so, uh, so busking is uh, a kind of way to make money, actually. And the person who does busking is called a busker. Okay, are you a busker? Have you ever done busking? So busking just means uh, playing an instrument in public. You know, some people in like a nice city, nice cities like uh, Montreal or I don't know, Europe, especially Europe has a lot of buskers. You know, if you go to some nice European cities like, I don't know, Berlin. Yeah, like a city like Berlin would have a lot of buskers. Right, so you could just see a person sitting, you know, on the side of the road with uh, maybe a guitar case open in front of them. And uh, they're playing guitar and maybe singing or, you know, maybe someone's playing the saxophone or and any kind of instrument, right? So that, that idea is called busking. That occupation, hey, maybe for some people it's, uh, it's actually their job. That's how they make money, right? By busking. Have you ever done busking? It's uh, kind of an interesting experience. I've never done it before. But right over there, that was my first time ever busking. So now I'm a busker. Well, I'm officially a busker, but I didn't make any money. Let me know. Do you think I'm... Maybe I'm not good enough on the triangle. Do you think I'm a good triangle player? Have you ever played the triangle before? It's kind of a neat instrument, you know, uh, I'm just gonna, I'll show you. I bought a triangle a few days ago on Amazon and uh, it's kind of a neat instrument, you know. I think I'm a pretty skillful triangle player. You just kind of hold it like that and you, you strike it with the, the thing. I don't know what the thing is called. Um, mallet? No, I don't know. What, what, what do you think this is called? I have no idea what this is called. Um, for some reason, I I would describe it as like a little uh, a stick. Would it be called a stick or a mallet? A mallet means the word mallet means like um, if you, uh, for example, let's see, let me think. What what sports use a? I think some sports use a mallet. Um, a mallet is like a. It's almost like a little hammer. You know, it's something you hit something with. Like, for example, a gong. The instrument, a gong. Is that an instrument? The Chinese, you know, bong, bong. I think that's called, uh, that's a gong. I don't know if it's an instrument or like a more of like a, a meditation or a, a spiritual thing. I guess all music could be some kind of spiritual thing. But anyway, so I think you strike a gong with a mallet. Maybe I'm wrong about that. What is a mallet? You know the do you know the game um the law um what's that called? It's a fun game that you play in your backyard. Cr uh, croquet croquet? Is it called croquet? Croquet. Maybe yeah, maybe it's there's a game. I think it's called croquet. I haven't played it for years. It's a game where you set up like little things in the grass. Um almost like looks like little goals like um so you set up things in the grass like little pins or not pins i'm having a hard time describing things right now anyway there's these little like metal like u shaped u shaped things that you push into the ground and then you try the idea is you you try to put the ball through there so let's say there's those little u-shaped things in the ground right like one here one there one there you set it up in your backyard however you want okay there might be i don't know 10 or 20 of them and then you start everybody starts and you have to hit your ball through each of them right so so that's the idea whoever whoever can get through the like the little i don't know 
not a maze uh it's uh just just the i'm not having a good day teaching english i can't describe anything you set up the like the what's the what would be the word to describe that uh maybe i can find a picture of croquet i think that game is called croquet but anyway you you uh you have a mallet everybody has a mallet it kind of looks like a hammer and you uh you try to hit your ball through each of those things and the first person to get finished done the course i guess you could call it a course almost like a a mini golfing kind of a course right that something kind of a small area with a bunch of things that you have to get done you could describe that as a course so i guess uh it would be called maybe uh, a croquet course i'll just let a person pass here wow look at that big sun there yeah it's a nice bright day nice bright sunny day here in bc canada yeah it's uh gorgeous it's a it's a cooker today if you uh if you want to describe a day a hot day you can call it a cooker Okay, a cooker means it's a hot day, hot weather. So today is a cooker, a real cooker. I don't know, maybe like, uh, look at that truck. Uh, yeah, so I would say today was probably like maybe almost 30 degrees. 30 degrees Celsius out here, maybe, maybe not quite, maybe like 20, 25 or 28 or something. And uh, it's the longest day of the year, I think, June 21st, right? Or is it the 20th that's the longest? Yeah, anyway, so you can describe today as a cooker. It's a real cooker out here. So getting back to the game croquet, yeah, you could call you could call the, the thing that you set up in your yard, you could call that like a course. I think a, a croquet course. Um, so the first person to finish the course wins. Okay, so you have to use your mallet and you have to hit the hit your ball. It's like wooden, I think it's like wooden balls and a wooden mallet and you hit it through the it's almost it's kind of like the same idea as mini golfing have you ever gone mini golfing okay so with with mini golfing and with croquet you uh you kind of have the same motion right it's a different it's a different game it's a different sport i don't know if you call it a sport but you hit the ball you hit you you, you try to you just stand there and you try to hit the ball through these these things okay so that's called uh it's called croquet just walking down a nice path here. Look at this nice place. Nice flowers on both sides of the path here. Look at all these little yellow flowers. Isn't that amazing? Wow. Yeah, this is a beautiful, such a beautiful part of the country. I'm so happy I can be here. Not in Calgary, I'm away from home, but I'm enjoying, a, enjoying the summer here in BC. It's just all kinds of just, I don't know, fresh the air is fresh nice green plants and trees look at these awesome trees it's kind of like a little forest the thing i love i love about bc is they've got these like communities like this where you know the forest is like kind of in kind of intertwined with the community in calgary it's really hard to find a place like this you know in calgary everything is just kind of like it's kind of just like a city built on a grid you know what a if a city is kind of built on a a grid that means all the roads just go either this way or this way you know if you look at calgary on google maps you'll see it's kind of like it's just there's just a lot of roads whereas if you look at this place on on google maps like around vancouver area you'll see that um there are all kinds of just different nature spots kind of like interwoven among the community you can see people live right here right and you've got these like really nice trees like right in their backyard that's just so awesome so anyway yeah so today i just wanted to teach you guys the uh the words bus the word busking busking and busker so the person is a busker and the activity is called busking okay i don't think we use the word i don't think you can really use the the word busk as a verb like for example you wouldn't say i busked yesterday what did you do yesterday? Oh, I I busked. I, I don't think so. I think it has to be with ing. He is busking. She is busking. He's a busker for a person. And then if you want to talk about it like that, you would say, hey, I, I did busking. I did some busking yesterday. 
Have you ever done busking? I think you would say it like that. Have you ever done busking? I don't think you would ask, have you ever busked? Have you ever busked? I don't know. I don't know. With words like this, they're kind of rare. You know, it, they're, it's not the kind of word you hear every day in English, right? <laughs> you know, it's, a, it's, a, it's kind of a weird word. That's why I wanted to teach you, because here at Mad English TV, I teach you all the crazy words in English that you probably don't hear every day, but that are part of the normal vocabulary. Like every, every native English speaker would probably know what busking is. So, hey, that's why you should know it. It's an important, it's an important word. So next time you see a musician on the side of the street looking for money, playing some music, well, you can think of this lesson and remember the word busking, busking. Have you ever done busking? Let me know down in the comments. It's kind of, uh, it's kind of, I don't know, exhilarating. Exhilarating means it's kind of like, uh, it's exciting right you, it's kind of scary it's like public speaking you're out in public everybody can see you everybody can hear your music you know when I was just going to town on the triangle back there I was hoping to make some cash you know it was exciting people were listening to me actually nobody was listening to me maybe the birds were listening to me but um <laughs> yeah I don't know I don't think I'm actually that good of a triangle player Oh, I hear some people coming up on the path, but I just wanted to teach you. Um, what did I just say? Going to town. Okay, if you go to town on something, like I was going to, t just drop my hat. I was going to town on the uh, the triangle, right? So that means just to put in a lot of effort. Just, like if a person's going to town on the drums, they're just beating the drums, like just like going all out. Right, that's another way you can say it, to go all out or to go to town on something. So yeah, you could. I think you can say that for any instrument, especially percussion instruments. Okay, percussion instruments. I think I hear someone coming up behind me. Oh yeah, I hear some people. They're sneaking up and I see some people up ahead. Oh no, I'm being trapped by both ends. Okay, I'll try to walk really fast to get away from those people following me. Yeah, so if you're going to town on an instrument, that means you're just putting in all your effort. You know, so you could say that about any instrument, I think. he's That guy's just going to town on the sax. The saxophone, that guy's going to town on the, the piano or the guitar, or the drums. Just means putting a lot of effort. And hearing... Uh, Maybe they want to get into my video. They want to become famous on Mad English TV. That's why they're they're trailing me. If someone's following you, you can say they're trailing me. They're trailing me. So those people, those people are trailing me. So that can be trail can be a verb or it can be a noun. This is called a, a trail, right? A hiking trail or a path. A trail. So those people are trailing me on the trail. Uh, anyway, yeah, so if you're going to town, it means you're just putting in all your effort. And uh, yeah, so that's what uh, that's what busking, usually buskers put in a lot of effort, right? They're trying to get, you know, it's their job. They're trying to make a living and they have to be good to make a, a living so people can, if people don't enjoy their music, people aren't probably aren't going to give them money, right? Maybe that's why nobody gave me money. Maybe I'm not a good triangle player. Cheer me up, guys. Tell me in the comments I'm a good triangle player. <sighs> pick up my spirits a bit. You know, if you lift up someone's spirits or if you pick, pick up their spirits, that means you cheer them up, you know, you encourage them. So I'm trying to become a good triangle player. And uh, maybe one day I'll be a, a, a successful busker. And... Uh, Make a lot of money busking. Let me know, do you want me to come to your city as a busker? Play my triangle in your city? Let me know which city you're from and uh, how much you think I could make in a day from your city. Actually, some of those buskers, I think they make, I don't know, how much do buskers make? If they're good in a, in a big city, they probably make like, 
You think they make a hundred bucks a day? 200 bucks a day? Maybe more, maybe like a hundred bucks an hour? I don't know. I've never, uh, I usually don't give money to buskers. Maybe I have a few times. Yeah, I don't know. How about you? Do you give money to buskers? Um, I'm a bit, I'm a bit cheap. If someone is cheap, that means they, they don't give their money out very, very easily, very generously, you know. I'm a bit of a cheap, a cheapskate. A cheapskate is a person who, who is cheap, you know. So if a person doesn't give money to buskers or doesn't, if they kind of like cling on to their money, they're uh, kind of cheap. So I'm, I'm a bit cheap. Those people are still following me. Can you hear them behind me? I don't want to look back because it'll be awkward. Man, they're so desperate to get into my video. I didn't know people were that desperate to become famous on METV. And I'm just walking up this hill here. Anyway, well, that was a long way just to teach you guys the, the, the word busking. Busking. So anyway, hope you guys learned something new in this video. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I'm a bit out of breath here from trying to escape those people who were trailing me, but hope you're having a great day. And uh, yeah, I wish you could be here walking with me, enjoying the nice nature. You're probably in better shape than I am, so you you won't be out of breath like I am. But uh, well, if you want more triangle videos in the future, then let me know down in the comments. And uh, well, have a wonderful day. I love you guys so much, and I will see you over in the next episode of Mad English TV. Take care.